All right, we're gonna work on the propeller um, for the airplane here. We're gonna start with this uh, inner circle, do the outer circle, rectangle, triangles. And we're kind of quickly to try to fit it in a five minute video. Pause as you need to. Um, I already created my new part studio and I'm gonna do a front sketch. All right, so I'm gonna start with a circle. center point. Um, and once I click it, I'm gonna go back to this. My little circle is 0 0.079. So let's go back, type 0 0.079, enter. Really small. Now I'm gonna do another circle connecting to the origin. Make sure you're, you're ordered not this other circle. Um, and then that is 0.44. So hover over that. 0.44. So I'm going to close up the circle and I'm going to move my dimension lines. So they're out like that. Um, and then now I'm going to do a rectangle. So I'm going to take a rectangle. I'm going to do the corner rectangle. Let's start up here. And you're gonna notice that we want at least one, you can start with, if you can get both of the vertices here to line up on the circle, then that's excellent. If not, I'll show you how to attach it. Um, we're gonna go here and we got 0.3 by 0.75. So I go in here, um, one on the side is 0.75, enter, and zoom out. There is point three enter um and you're going to notice that that is not quite on the circle like it needs to be so we go over and you're gonna you might have to expand your toolbar here to get to this uh coincided so what we want is we want that circle to be in this or we want that dot or that the point to be on that circle so we click on the dot point we click on the circle and then it makes it have that constraint. I didn't want to close my sketch out yet, so I double click it again. Now we're going to do that rectangle, or not rectangle, triangle, which is 0 0.11, and then it just drops down. It doesn't matter how long that side is. So I go back here, click on the line, zoom in here. So I go to the right, 0 0.11, enter, and then I just flip it back down. Same thing on the other side. Go to the left. Click. 0 0.11. Enter. I'm going to click here. And then you think to yourself, man, I, I don't want to do that two more times. I wish there was a pattern. I wish there was a circular pattern that would allow me to just take all of that, maybe not the bottom of that rectangle because I don't really need that extra line there. If it would just copy it all the way around in a circle, that would make it. And it would be really good if I could just choose like, you know, three of them, you know, or what if I wanted a two propeller? Or what if I wanted a four propeller? You know, we could adjust it, but we want three. So as long as yours clicks three, then we get it. There we go. Um, so I'm going to click isometric and I'm going to extrude it. I don't want to extrude an inch. I want to do 0 0.09. And I just basically highlight or select all the parts except for the um, center circle. Um, so get all those selected. And then once you do that, you're going to do your fillet on the corners. Um, and I think it wants to do 0 0.2, but that's a little too much compared to the other design. I think it's more like 0 0.1 radius. Um, there you go. So we'll go around and select them all and then change your color. And then you are done.